I definitely trust these hosts because they show off their moral compass with pride. Quite the domain name there. When I made my video showing you how to get the fancy dancy Discord embeds, I got a wave of comments talking about different image hosts. After looking more into it, it seemed like there was a hissy fit of which one was better. While I won't be looking at performance because I don't have a stable enough conditions to test performance, I will be looking at how long it takes to get an invite, the professionalism of staff, and the domain selection of each host. To clarify on any potential bias, I am currently signed up with Tixty.com and have made a video on XXCU.net. What a mouthful. Although I rarely use any of these services due to privacy concerns, and I am not sponsored in any way and my thoughts are my own and have not been reviewed by a third party. As you will see. So to start, let's talk about signing up. Image hosts are divided into two categories, public and private. Public hosts do not require an invite into, but they can have more members which results in slower performance. Private hosts require an invite key, which creates a false sense of exclusivity and some insane gatekeeping from staff members, as you will see. Starting with public hosts, the only option on this list is xxcu.net. Not having to ask for an invite key is great and puts the user in control. Now, private hosts. Every private host Discord server has a giveaway system, but uh, screw that. I weighed my chances on the generosity of others, and keep in mind your mileage may vary. Therefore, for my standardized test, I sent a friendly request asking for an invite in the general channel of each Discord server. Let's start off with the good, then get into the bad, and then the ugly. So to start off, Upload Systems took first place. After reading through the rules, for comedic effect, please remember this rule, and after asking for a key, it only took four minutes to get an invite key. Quite impressive. Tixty and Kerwa.club both took less than 20 minutes, but points go to Tixty for their friendly staff members. It was actually pretty interesting to communicate with them. Now, moving on to the bad. Images.bar, encrypting.host, celestphoto.com, and confighub.host. I got no response via chatting. They just kind of left me there. Now, gato.host. I got no response via my alt accounts. Now, let's get on to the ugly. Gato.host again. Although my alt account got no response from gato.host, I got a ton, and I mean a ton, of unsolicited responses via YouTube comments due to their server setting up a raid. It got so bad that I had to blacklist gato.host from my YouTube comments. Try it. Literally, your comment will get deleted. I got a handful of DM advertisements from members, including their owner. While this was a bit of teasing fun, it was solely unprofessional. Unfortunately, this transitioned into more malicious raids. One of their admins did a self-bot raid on my Discord server and bragged about it on the Gato.host server. I gotta say, I really love the community interaction. To be fair, some of this has been cleared up with the Gato host owner, but it still puts a sour taste in my mouth. Next up is Tesla.sexy. The Discord server was restricted, and there seemed no way to sign up other than giveaways. So, obviously I didn't get a code. Next up is Easy Host. I did not get a code. The server was locked down outside of people with invite codes. And uh, the announcements channel indicated to go to a non-existent channel to ask for invites. So I opened a ticket to let the staff know that the channel didn't exist. I was friendly with the staff. And the staff reciprocated my friendliness with you don't deserve shit. Great experience overall. And finally we have Elixir.host. I couldn't even join the Discord server. So, yeah, good luck getting with this host. Overall, SXCU was the fastest to sign up for since he really didn't need a beta. Upload.Systems, Tixty.com, and Kerbo.Club were second to fourth place, respectively, and the rest of the hosts did not provide a key within my small attention span of three days. Moving on to domains. Each image host has its own collection of domains. When I think of the perfect image host, I think of a host that doesn't have any weird domains. In my opinion, if an image host is serious enough to avoid hardcore racism, pedophilia, sexism, and other offensive topics in their domains, they're probably also a bit more serious regarding your security. While it's hard to give a rating in terms of offensive domain names, here's a lineup of hosts and their tasteless domains. The best image hosts were Gato.host and Dixty.com. Both had clean and inoffensive domain names. On the other hand, starting from bad to downright disgraceful, let's delve into the biggest cesspool of domains I've seen in a while. Kerwa.club. You can't select different domains, so this is what you're stuck with. And as you can see, I should probably stop saying this word. SXCU has a couple of offensive and sensitive domain names, as you see here. Uh, this isn't the worst of it, by the way. Uh, Upload Systems has wait. Wait, hold on, you see that? It has racist domain names, even though their Discord doesn't allow racism? Oh my gosh, who would have seen this coming, right? And uh, since I really don't want to be demonetized, here's a montage of the other domains which I really don't want the focus to be on, but here we are. Here we are talking about the fact that including these domain names is wrong and is unprofessional for a business responsible for hosting your images, which could contain private information. I definitely trust these hosts because they show off their moral compass with pride. Quite the domain name there. 
I wonder how far of a reach it is for them to see your uploaded photos or get your IP and DDoS you if they get mad. I don't know. Probably not that far of a reach. So, wow. That was a lot to take in. The offensive domain names, the server raids for not showcasing a specific host, the rude support staff. Instead of focusing on the negatives, let's focus on the diamonds in the rough mess of image hosting platforms. Also, how in the heck is image hosting a profitable business idea? Anyways, if you don't want to wait, using xxcu.net is a fantastic option. Some offensive domain names, poor performance due to the number of users, and poor Discord embed support can make SXCU feel ancient compared to private image hosts. If you want the best possible experience with the best support, take a look at Tixty.com. The friendly staff, clean domain names, relatively fast invite, and easy-to-use embed customizer make it easy for anyone to configure their own custom screenshots. If you want a lot of domain options, albeit some offensive, and want to invite as soon as possible, Upload.Systems is the way to go. Upload Systems' rebrand from Pays.Host has removed a ton of the offensive domains, and they seem to be going in a positive direction, but just keep in mind that their old domains were as bad as the worst ones we glossed over. While I can't recommend Gato.Host at the present moment, you know, because all the stuff that happened, keep your eyes peeled in the future as they seem to be receptive to some criticism and could definitely compete with the others, assuming they start heading in the right direction. Overall, though, in my opinion, image hosts are almost one and the same. They have the same sense of exclusivity and, generally speaking, the same set of features. Differences in each image host comes down to domain choice and whether or not it's possible to get an invite as a normal user. But personally, I don't trust a small company with the data in my screenshots. How will I know for sure that someone won't peek into my photo gallery and find something that could harm me in the future? If security and privacy is an issue for you, either host it yourself and do computery computery stuff that I have no idea how to do, or just stick with local screenshots and don't upload it anywhere. It's not that hard. I don't know, at this point I'm rambling, so I love you. Be safe out there. I love you. <laughs>